you representing? Will you stop trashing the fucking place? <laughs> I mean, that just sounded like you were 12 again. I don't like your company. <laughs> oh, fuck it's like this. <laughs> I knew you were going to do this, so I had to prepare. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like walking. Just. If you come in, you would have walked out the door and then came into it. I mean, they can't see it, so we just think your your situation. Um, I'll stop now. <laughs> Fuck's sake! See, Ben. Did, uh, no one saw like when Ben got up halfway across the room to get gin because he hid it in the other side of the room. You get gin? Yeah. Um, oh, I, I always assume it's like in here when no. you do a podcast. Like, where? Where's the gin? At? No, he. No, we were in next door. And he, because he hid a thing of gin in there before I came in. Oh. Because it was all about um, alcohol. No, he didn't. He's not like a secret alcoholic yeah, now. Yeah, I thought maybe he just brought it along with him. Like, oh, I thought this was going to need, be needed because I was doing podcasts with you. No, <laughs> although apparently he was prepared to drink stuff. Damn right. Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, I, oh, I just realised I haven't actually thought of an intro for you. An intro? Yeah. Well, Ben was like the guy for me knows. You've been on here before. It's Holly Alloway. Hey! And I am me. <laughs> Piece of trash. Remember me? Yeah, everyone does. You're just ingrained on everyone's memory. Oh, God. I'm sorry. That's not a memory you want. It's really not. Can <laughs> confirm. Give me that look at I don't feel sorry now for the topic I picked this time. That's the thing. Because obviously you know how this works now. Mm-hmm. And you've made a game, apparently. I've made a game. No, you can't look. <laughs> Where else have I look? There's not much in oh, this wait, room. No, that's fine, that's fine. I thought you could see through the page, but it's fine. You mean the small book you have? Yeah. With the two hardback covers? Yeah. No, because I, I flipped the page, and ah, I thought okay. maybe I've written something on that page, because I, I screwed up this morning. It was a long morning. Oh, my, my God, you, you screwed something up. That's so <laughs> unlike you. I can't believe you would do such it's a thing. It's not like I spilled water before we started. No, and that's not why we're in a different <laughs> fucking room now. No, we moved because the table sure. was here. Yeah, it yeah. was. That was the original uh-huh. plan, right? Um, Totes. So, yeah, um, and I've taken it one step further and taken my topic into a game that I want you to play. So I'm going to basically take over your podcast. So That's fine. Am I allowed to know what the topic is? Yep. I even gave it a title. Oh, fuck's sake. Because the topic is Tumblr phrases. Oh, no. And this is Are You Cool AF quiz. No! <laughs> <laughs> so you speak. <laughs> basically, I've got, I think, nine different new phrases. I didn't even know these. And you know how Tumblr I am. Yeah, you go hard, bro. <laughs> I do. Um, I have nine phrases slash words. And I want you... I have multiple choices as to what this means. And I want you to guess, A, B, or C, which one you think it is. Right, I should probably like, keep a counter of some kind. Yeah. I want to know what yeah. high score is at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got prizes for each um, one you get right. Yay! But you can only get them at the end. Damn! <laughs> Cool. Okay. I'm not going to enjoy this in the slightest. You are. Yes, you are. It's going to be great. So, <clears throat> the first phrase is snatched. Sna- okay. Snatched. <laughs> you can giggle at these. It's just... <laughs> okay. So, is it A, it is used to describe anything that looks good, i.e. she's snatched. B, is it used to describe if a person of interest is taken, i.e. they're now in a relationship, the person you were crushing on? Yeah. Sorry, bro, Kelly has been snatched. Or C, used to describe when your friend is in trouble. You have to come quick. Ben has just been snatched by the popo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ben. Um, I feel like I'm going to use the term literally and mm-hmm. say... Oh no, if it's hip and news, then literally, but not literally. So I'm going to say when you're the girl or significant other that you like has been taken away. Wrong. Shit. Wrong. By the way, these other ones are ones that I came up with. So. Oh God, this is going to be more of an insight <laughs> to your brain than anything else. And you're I was s- so proud of that one. Um, so what does it mean then? It is used to describe anything that looks good, i.e. she's snatched. What? Um, I know. I've got the actual... Um, 
We've got Urban article. Dictionary. No, it's oh. an article. This is how I found this. Um, so the description, snatched is the new fleek. It's used to describe anything that looks really good or on point. Anything from your eyebrows to your outfit can be snatched. If your eyebrows are slaying, they be snatched. I didn't understand half of those words. <laughs> I feel so exactly. old. That's why I'm here to help you and educate you. This I thought part. fleek was still quite new. Fleek was so 2015. So it's only 2016! <laughs> you have to be current. It's been a year! You've got to be now. Fucking hell. <laughs> the second one, sus. S-U-S. Sus. Okay. Is it the new t to show annoyance? So you know when you like t okay. in annoyance. B, used to describe something that is quick and dirty, i.e. that is well sus, mate. Fucking hell. <laughs> or C... <laughs> You used to describe when something is sketchy or shady. What's the second one? Um, something to describe that something that is quick and dirty. Um, I'm going to guess sketchy. You're correct. Yeah, because it's short <laughs> for suspected. Right, that is exactly where it comes from. God, why can't we finish words anymore? Because <laughs> we haven't got time. Sus comes from the word suspect. It's the internet's new word for sketchy or shady. Remember when Katie Herring gave Regina George Kelton bars to lose weight? That was sus. That's a mean girl thing, right? Well done. I'm so proud. Fuck off. <laughs> Patronise okay. a piece of shit. Okay. Number three. Boots. Uh, boots. Boots. As in the boots that you wear. Does it mean boots that you wear? No. <laughs> well, it shit. Doesn't, actually. Um, a. When there is something that you disagree with, that is boots blood. B, a word that you can add at the end of an adjective or verb to add emphasis. I'm really tired, boots. Or C, a phrase you say when you're relaxing. I'm boots right now. Can we meet later? <laughs> Thing is, the way you said three, you're sort of like trying to hold back a laugh as you said it. But then the second one, like verbs and adjectives, that sounds like smart talk. So that sounds like something you got off the internet. Because I'm not smart. Pretty much. So I'm going to guess B. Well done. Yeah, I knew it! <laughs> you Damn can't hide your fi false intelligence from me. <laughs> there is nothing false about my intelligence. I am stupid. <laughs> no comment. See, you can be intelligent, but still be so stupid. Like my brother, he is so intelligent. He give him any sum or he, he's so into his current events. Um... So you can have a really decent conversation with him. Any kind of common sense flies out the window. Like... I think that's the difference between intelligence and wisdom. Like, intelligence is knowing a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put in a fruit salad. <laughs> yeah. That was from the internet. Somewhere. Unless Somewhere. you made it. No, it's definitely... I'm not, I'm not smart enough to think of something that brilliant. <laughs> uh, you came up with this podcast. I mean... Oh yeah, that's gone great that so far. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay, I couldn't read anything. Okay, okay, cool. But, yeah, boots is... So, like, tired boots, lazy boots. Oh, yeah, why? I'm really tired boots. Why? Um, I'll get the article. But it was um, a YouTuber um, made it famous. Todrick Hall. Who? I don't know. His first name sounds like a colloquialism for penis. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you call Todger? a penis. Todger? Oh, that's true. Yeah! And Judge me. I thought Todger meant it was a small penis. Still penis. If that's what you call it, then. Sti Aww. Tiny violin. <laughs> Todger violin. <laughs> that was pretty clever. Um, you just add the word boots to an end of an adjective or verb to add emphasis to whatever you're saying. Oh, yeah. That's literally what I just copied down. You so smart. So, yeah, Todger Hall, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Ah, his, penis, his name is Penis Hall. Just brought this podcast right down. We're talking about things from Tumblr. This was never a peak. <laughs> well, I think when I came on here with my John Cena, that was when it hit rock bottom. Underground at that point. Yeah. But are you impressed that I knew that that was going to happen? What, John Cena? No, that you were going to ask me to do my intro so I could tell. Yeah, because the last time it's like you were auditioning for a business interview. <laughs> 
Hello, my name is Molly. I did psychology. Vote me for president. Okay, number four. Sis. 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 That sounds painful. <laughs> As in sis. Yeah. <laughs> I insist. Uh. Okay, so is it A, the new bro, sup sis? Is it derived from the bodybuilding product, Cisco? So bodybuilders use this to ask for protein bars or shakes. Bro, you got any of that, sis? Or C, it describes something hot originating from sizzling. All of them are so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> what do you mean? This is my mind. So it's either with you. <laughs> a way to get protein. Mm-hmm. A way to describe hot food. Yeah. Or the new bro. The new bro. Like sis. Sister. I'm going to go hot food. No. Fuck. The new bro. Sister. Really? Yeah. However, you, however you'd however you use bro, just replace it with sis and you're good to go. Part of its origin stems from people referring to black women as sisters and black women adopting and shortening the term. Now all types of people use it, including Scott and Mitch from the comedy show Superfruit. Mm. Who's this? <laughs> God, there's a reason why I don't use Tumblr. Love it. This is my favourite one, my next one. Oh no. I love it. I don't use it, but I love it. Hunty. That could be, you have to be very <laughs> clear when you say that. Hunty. Okay, is it A, when you spot someone who could be a potential partner, that girl in Hunty? Right. B, Opposite of hunky, someone who looks beastly, or C is a combination of honey and cunt. <laughs> Why would you say that anyways? Um, first one? When you spot someone who could be a potential partner, that girl in oh, is hunty even. Not in yeah, hunty, that. Yeah. That girl is hunty. No. Combination of honey and cunt. What? <laughs> it was um, popularised from... Um, RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, of course. <laughs> Every great thing comes from RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> um, it's meant as a term of, in- of endearment to describe your friends. However, it's sometimes used, is used in a demeaning way. So, hunty. Why? Damn it, hunty. D- I, d- I don't understand. <laughs> you don't have to. I kind of do. It's a bleeding internet. No, you don't. And the next generation's going to be saying this bollocks so when they overpass me and I'm left in the dirt I need to know what they've called me on the way out the door at least it's not opposite of hunky Aye. <laughs> um okay seventh one the one on there that was supposed to be next was goals AF uh, you'd know that one anyway because I use it all the time yeah you fucking do <laughs> uh, you sound like you don't enjoy being my friend no comment <laughs> heard it here first guys um okay number seven Stan. 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 S T A N. Yeah. Cool. A. It's a boring guy. Lenny is such a Stan. B. It's a hardcore, hardcore fan, stemming from Eminem's um, song "Stan" when describes a hardcore fan. Or C. To describe the rational friend based on Stan from South Park. The one who always says, "Oh my God, you kill Kenny." I'm gonna go with the Eminem one. Yeah. Oh, Cause I remember that music video and it shut me the fuck up. Yeah. Because it was always like the end bit where it's just like his reflection in the window, mm-hmm. staring at Eminem. I was like, ah, he's supposed to be dead. <laughs> Spoilers. No. Jesus Christ. It's not Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, I need to watch that. You need to watch that. I need to start that. Yeah, you do. And Orange is the New Black. And apparently now Luther. Ooh. Which is like a gritty, gritty crime British thing. Mm. With Idris Elba. Yes. That's really good, to be honest. It looked good, but I have so many things I need to watch, and I don't have my computer for another month. For God's sake, man. Um, have you not got a games console at all? No, nope, they all packed. Oh, sake. Although, I might have Netflix. There you go. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Luther's not on there, though. They have anime on there, though. Yay! Watch the Seven Deadly Sins, that is actually quite good. I can watch that weird horror thing. We got off topic really quickly. Yeah, we did. What's the horror thing now? It's like loads of Japanese horror stories that have been animated. Mm-hmm. And they, they all end with um, 
this guy going, Yo, Yoshi, my, which I don't know what it means. But it got to a point where it's just a trippy outro, and we spent more time paying attention to the outro because it changes at the end of every every episode. Ooh. But the one I can remember off the top of my head was a, there's a guy at the onsen, and um, like it's one of the ones where the wall doesn't quite meet the ceiling. Mm-hmm. So on the other side of that wall, you've got like the female area. Yeah, I see where this is going. It's, no, you okay. don't. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's, it gets weirder. So she's like, "Sorry, have you got like a bar of soap or something?" And they were, "Have you got like a spare towel?" Um, and it's like, "Have you got a, um, a spare finger? Can you cut your finger off and give it to me?" Can you cut off, cut off some of your hair? In fact, can you just give me your foot? And then just comes around, like, she breaks over the top, and she's like this disformed figure, like, in fact, I'll take all of you, and just oh. ends with this blood curdling scream in the night. Because he decides to go to an onsen at 10 o'clock at night. Because oh. they be grey, yo. Hey, you're going to Japan. <laughs> God damn it. Never going to an onsen. I'm not even, I don't think I'm allowed in onsens because I have a tattoo. Oh, yeah, you're not wanted. I'm not wanted. I might see Shame. if they might, because I am a foreigner and they are quite lenient when it comes to foreigners. I think it's just actual Japanese people who shame one another for getting tattoos. But to be fair, in their culture, it does mean that you're a gangster, so I can totally see why. And being like with someone who does drugs or anything illegal is, you know. I mean, meant you, to be bad. You just scream gangster. I obviously just scream gangster. Just considering Jeez. you say AF <laughs> in normal conversation because yeah. you're a bad person. I'm not a bad person. You say AF. <laughs> that was just a weird noise. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. Yeah, I'm a hunting. I can't believe that's a thing. <laughs> Why? The fact that you said it's it's just such an oxymoron. Mm-hmm. Why? When would it ever be used in normal conversation? Um, I think it's used in the gay community a lot. Or LGBT plus. I think. Get it together, guys. Come on. <laughs> Did you just hit yourself? No. no. You just twanged yourself with elastic, didn't you? Fuck's sake. Right, we are well off topic. Number eight, extra. Extra. What? Extra. That already has a meaning. Not like this. It has a. It's a word Not already. Not like this. A, someone who's trying too hard or being over the top. All right. B, that friend who doesn't really do much in the friendship group. Let's remove Jacob from the group chat. He is just an extra. Poor Jacob. Or C. From the chewing gum brand to mean fresh or new. I really hope it's not the last one. Oh god, the eyebrows are going. <laughs> uh, if I had to guess, what was what was the first one again? I'm um, trying too hard. I don't know. I say second one. The friend who doesn't really do much in the friendship group. Yeah. Please no. <laughs> Please. Not. Oh thank fuck. <laughs> That's what I need up. I'm so proud of you. You should be. You should feel terrible. It's um, trying too hard or being over the top. Oh. Being too extra. I want Sammy to kick you out now because based on that. What, the chewing gum? Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, it's mildly clever as well, but God, it's right? bad. I had to Google images to like give me inspiration this morning. Um, and that's what came up, so I was like, I can make that into a thing. I'm chewing extra as well. Yeah, you are. This is why we Spare stick airwaves. Watch your head explode. No, it's the worst one. Extra all the way. And actually, this is the last one. And I think it's appropriate to finish off on. Oh, no. Tea. Don't ruin this for me. This is all I have. (laughs) A. Refers to gossip. The tea is especially good today. B. What foreigners call native Britons if they are having a hardcore British moment. Simi is eating crumpets. She is such a tea. Or C, if someone is drinking on a night out. Oh, someone is not drinking on a night out, originating from tea to tea to tea to- tea Yeah, I can't even read my own bloody writing. Steven is teeing tonight. Woo. <laughs> or is it D, an interchangeable term you can use for dinner? No, no, it's not. We've had this discussion. Dinner means dinner. Tea is the drink or the bit in between lunch and dinner if you're having afternoon tea with sandwiches. No, tea is an interchangeable term. No, it's a, it fucking It's isn't. how the South do it and the South is superior, you the northern s- monkey. I'm so Midlands for a fucking start. 
Northern. No. <laughs> I'm not fucking Northern. You say northern. Cobb. Yeah, because it's fucking right. Because you're Northern. Okay, a soft, round piece of bread it's is a bat. a roll or no, a, it's bat. a bat. I can ex- I can accept bat. It's just bat. It's roll. Roll. The a roll is a roll. A roll. A roll. <laughs> Let's go um, see roll. The rolling stone. <laughs> no, a roll is like a finger roll where you have hot dog rolls or a hot dog roll or a finger roll. That is the only time roll is ever used. And a cob is a hard bat. Does it hurt being this wrong all the time? <sighs> the willpower not to slap you right now. Fight me, bruh. Oh, sorry. Fight me, sis. <laughs> Hunty. Oh, if I had to choose one, I would say it's when a British person goes full Britain. Nope. Oh, for fuck's sake. Refers to gossip, the tea's especially oh, good today. The fact that they use it like the tea's especially good today. Oh, you fucking <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> you awful people. You're the reason why we left Europe. How many did you get right? Um, Three? I think. Fuck okay. off, fuck off, fuck off. Oh, that's three. rude. That is very rude. That's one, me to... one for each point. Okay, I have a present for you. Oh, no. More fucking tea bags. <laughs> Three tea bags. <laughs> <sighs> what makes this better is I threw two in your bag early today. What? No, you did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> I put them on top there. Where? And th- uh, this was before you took all your stuff out, so I was expecting them to fly out, but now I put two tea bags in your no, handbag. No, they're lost forever. Do you know how deep this bag is? It's a woman's handbag, so I'm they're likely never to see the light day again. Do you want me to like empty it? It's up to you. <laughs> It's your handbag. I'm going to name everything I have in my purse. Uh, in my bag. Purse. Suntan lotion. Why do you have suntan lotion? Because it's supposed to be summer. I won't pull out my underwear. That's, which... <laughs> that's made things so weird. Right, okay. In context, we went to watch the sunrise. So me and my housemate thought, let's pack sleeping stuff like pyjamas. And I like to change my underwear in the morning, so I didn't want to change back out of my sleeping gear, back into my normal clothes without changing my pants. Because that's just wrong. So that's why. And I haven't taken them out of my bag yet because my bag is a bottomless pit. The internet now knows about your secrets. I have dry shampoo. Um, body spray. One. You're so elegant, it hurts. <laughs> For context, she, after saying oh, she's not going to get on her, she just flung them on the table. Because they were caught on a pen. And now I imagine she's gone bright red, because she can't lift her head. Oh, bright red. So red. I'm not, I'm going to put everything back. I have a lot of stuff in my bag. Basically, when you get to the bottom, <laughs> there's two tea bags in there. Oh my god. And I'm really hoping they haven't split. The tea bags or my underwear? Uh, oh. both. <laughs> that never happened. I have 10p though. I am richer. Yay. It's nice to know that for once I'm not the one being massively humiliated <laughs> on my ho- on my podcast. Do you want an apple? Pass, thanks. You have such a cl- weird collection of things. <laughs> I know. Alright, um, can we take a minute me. to talk about your little list and just to realise that this... What was it? July 1st, mm. 2016, marks... Pinch, punch, birthday of the month, oh, you terms. I thought you can't do that past midday. Oh, fuck. Well... And it's like happens? 25 to 7. Fuck. What happens to you now? You just... Like, you find a split tea bag in your bag. Oh, man. Yeah, what happens? Um, yeah, mark the state... That it's like, that's... This has got to be, like, the official death of the English language, as we know it. Mm. Based on everything you've just gone through. But perhaps... Um, how common or yeah, common English is now. You know how we had like ye old English. Yeah. Um, maybe this is how our version of English originated, and they were like, "Oh, they're gonna ruin the English language." Where's um all of our common language going to go? And over time, it just has become the common language. But back then, it was. To make things just easier, because every, mm. whenever everyone see, um, reads the words ye, mm. as in like ye old crown, that sort of thing, it's actually pronounced the. Oh. 
Oh. That's where the word comes from. And because obviously we learned how to spell, mm -hmm. we swapped the Y for a TH. Because it makes sense. Oh. Replacing as fuck with AF does not make sense. <laughs> I don't want to live in a world where that's the standard. Try, imagine trying to teach that to someone who used to be able to come into our country. Like you get some French or some Spanish <laughs> fool with like a blind ignorance for how bad this place is. And he says, what is, what is AF? It's like, well, mate. Uh, it means mate. as fuck, but we couldn't be bothered to say as fuck, so we just shorten it down to an acronym. It's like, why? 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 But it's just like another way of saying it. It's like you have um, synonyms for friend, you have mate, you have buddy, you have, I don't know, other synonyms for friend. It's hard because you don't have friends, isn't it? I know. <sighs> Lonely. Um, I don't know, I think... I don't think it's the end of proper English. I think the generation is becoming... Lazy. Good. Yeah, well, I would say efficient. This isn't a good example of the new generation being efficient, but it would be a lot easier just to type in very short, in, you know, a shortened version, kind of like Morse code get a message across quickly so you can get more stuff done but i do worry in terms of like in the long term how it will affect our ability to speak and communicate with other parts of the world because at least english as we speak it at the moment everyone knows it well every i say everyone it's the most one of the most common languages apart from mandarin Compare it to, say, Morse code then. Mm -hmm. Morse code was typically used to, like, alert people of, like, impending fuck-uppery. Mm -hmm. So, the Germans are this coming. This is gonna fuck up us. Yeah. The Germans <laughs> are coming. Fucking run or blow them up first. That sort of thing. If people use AF as, like, or anything like that, like, their eyebrows on fleek. Booty, big AF. Like, what? But to be fair, it does mean, like... Instead of going, your eyebrows look really good today, which is your eyebrows look really good today, six words. Your eyebrows are on fleek. It's five words. I know it's only like one word. Oh, no. Eyebrows good AF. Three things. But just why? Shortened. Things most know. of the time people type them. Is it really hard to... <laughs> most of it's not autocorrect. <laughs> your phone does half the fucking work for you. It's not like the old ye olden days. Where everything was in black and white and you had to press the <laughs> number three, three times to get the letter C or the letter F. Oh my god, I remember those times. Right, you had to work oh. for it. You had to work to tell your friend that he was a bell end. Now you just like half of it's done for you. You can just say AF at the end. <laughs> oh. Oh. Life I appreciate is a... how we both went, uh, oh, at the same time. <laughs> Life is unmeasurable pain it's that we can't that describe bad. properly anymore because we have to use shortened words. It's not that bad. I think it's, I think it's fun, especially because it's. But you mean fur? Like... No. Because you have to like say half the word. <laughs> no. See how silly it sounds? It's pretty damn silly. Yeah, that's only when you say it because or just a granddad. Says the one who went to cut a glass of water and then threw it on the table and now has no water. I don't have any water. I cry every time. <sighs> but I think it's just internet talk. I think. It will necessarily become like a common practice. I don't want it to be. Perhaps for the generation to come. Well, that's a horrible Maybe. thought. Especially like when in professional standing, you would never use the word as fuck. It doesn't matter. You don't even swear, and that's still at the moment common to swear. Mm. I don't think it'll ever become the um, Queen's English. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe just RuPaul Queen. Oh. Why do you watch RuPaul? I love RuPaul. Oy. RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh. <laughs> Again, Netflix. And when dissertation, something cruel and... You just need something to take your mind off something that is just a ball ache. And it is just trash TV. I don't understand how you can watch it because you watch like Devious, um, Maids. Devious Maids. That's so good. Pretty Little Liars. I don't watch Pretty Little Liars. Oh. Pretty Little. Um, I would watch Orange is the New Black, but that's, that's not to be really trash. good. Yeah, it's not. It is 
Oh, especially the season just gone. If anyone has watched Orange is the New Black's new season, or if not, prepare yourself. But it is just cutthroat. Everyone dies. Oh. oh god, I think I might be closer to that than I realise. No, it's just... I won't spoil anything. It's just... They do not leave you with any hope at all. So it's like being back at uni? Yeah, exactly. Then why do you want you to escape from uni then? <laughs> oh no, I didn't. I waited. Well, oh, I say enough. I waited. The series didn't come out until like a month ago maybe? Three weeks ago? Um... But yeah, they are just, they're really up to date with current events. And I personally appreciated how truthful they took the storyline, especially in the later episodes, which people will understand if they've seen it. It's just very, at the moment, it's important that we recognise that it's not okay. Whatever has happened during Orange is the New Black. And in current events. Ooh, yes. I was talking to, because I'm now effectively homeless for a little while, <laughs> um, I was talking to my technically housemate, mm-hmm. I'm st- uh, still on a friend's couch, and I was saying, because she really likes um, Orange is the New Black as well, because so we were going through a bunch of stuff I need to watch, and I can't watch because I left it all on my rig, which is packed away, excuse me, and she was saying, but a, she's trying to describe it, it's like, it's basically... She started with kind of like mostly lesbian porn <laughs> interlaced with like really dramatic storylines. I was like, cool, that's one that I can't watch around people because that would get really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, don't don't watch it around. Well, you can watch around. I say with me being a girl, I watch. Well, I would watch it with my housemates. Because well, they're all women. Yeah, and I'm a comfortable heterosexual, so. I'm good, I think. I wouldn't find it awkward myself. I can see obviously why you would. And other men slash... I don't know, if you were interested in someone and you are watching it with them, that'd be very awkward. Um, a few of us watched Deadpool a few months ago. Oh, God. And it got to the point where um, he meets a girlfriend early mm-hmm. on. And one of like we all just sat there like really awkwardly and someone had just had to cough to break the silence. <laughs> It's like, we, we get it, it's awkward, just stop. Yeah. There's always, during those awkward times in the movies, or during the sex scenes, that you need to cough. I don't know whether it's just because you your body's like, this is awkward, you need to do something to break the tension. Or it's just coincidence, you just need to cough, or, I don't know, swallow, or something. Swallow? I don't know. It's like, mm, okay. The best one was, my parents really got into True Blood when that was a thing. Did you ever watch True Blood? No, I never did. It was basically like a uh, kind of. How would you describe it? Is it vampire? Yeah, it was yeah. vampire. It was started off as like a gritty vampire action romantic sort of thing, and mm-hmm. it eventually had like werewolves and then fairies and pixies. So it got really weird Gay. really quickly. Yeah, and um, basically the premise of it is. Um, Vampires are a thing, and they kind of integrate with society. Okay. But there's a lot of racism against them, and so you get ones who are like, okay, yeah, vampire, could you just stop yelling at me? I'll drink just, like, fake blood replacement sort of thing. Okay. And then there's ones who are like, you just gave me a lot of grief, so I'm going to snap your neck and drink (laughs) you like a Capri Sun. I mean, I I enjoy Capri Sun. Not like this. Um, And, yeah, basically, there's a lot of, like sex and nudity throughout the entire show Mm -hmm. but because it was season one and you need to get the second season money they put a lot of sex and a lot of nudity in and i got to watch that with my parents why get to why did you get to watch it with your parents because it's a treat um they used to because i used to watch ncis with them and Uh. it came out at the same time because all american shows run about the same time so they'd put one on, then the other one come on, and then we afterwards we'd watch the other NCS, which by that time had finished mm-hmm. downloading. So yeah, I just had to watch True Blood and all its like sex with my parents. And I think the peak was like in the show, if human drinks a vampire's blood, mm-hmm. it acts as like an aphrodisiac and oh like a Viagra and like a oh high. God. Oh so, God. Yeah. So usually you have that, you have um, sex with your partner or whatever and 
that's like you wake up the following morning and you know it's one one guy it's take it was taking him too long for it to hit so he had a few more drops and to the point where it time passed in the episode and he was still hard and he was like it just won't flop so i got taken to an emergency room because someone said you were like kind of od you need to see a doctor and the only way they could cure it was to take no. a large needle no. put it where you don't want a large needle no. and drain the blood the best part about that is they left the sound effect in so all you heard was a as it went in without anesthetic Oh my god! Me and my stepdad basically crossed our legs like they were pretzels. We were so un- <laughs> we were so uncomfortable. Oh god! Well, I I wish no. Oh god, that is just the worst. Bad I'm thing. Glad I don't have a penis for that reason. Oh. <laughs> I'm just worried about my nephew now. Why? Because he's gonna grow up knowing that sort of <laughs> English. Oh, well, he doesn't have to see me. But no, he's got to find the internet one day. Yeah. And he's going to find... What's this Tumblr thing? <laughs> he might not even be around. Let's hope not. YouTube might not be around. Let's hope not. That funny. Never know. It's only been around, like, what, 10 years? 10, 11 years? The day Vimeo takes over. <laughs> or Daily Motion. Oh, God. Imagine Bing taking over as the oh God. internet provider. I think it just doesn't sound right. Google it. Let's Bing it. It's like, no. No, who ever wrong. says that? Who ever says Internet Explorer it? You do. Oh. Traitor. Well, Internet Explorer isn't a search engine. Traitor. It's, a, it's just that. Isn't it? Traitor. Our computers were running on Windows 7 and are already <laughs> super old. They don't have Chrome. <laughs> no. How do you Tumblr without Chrome? You just don't. I'm so guessing you're... you don't have Tumblr. I think I do somewhere. I'm glad I don't know what the password is anymore. <laughs> oh, you're missing out. Not and really. Just trash and memes and funny things and critical role. All the good things. Marvel, nerd things. I can find that anywhere. But there's people. And with people who can speak English. <laughs> people do speak English on Shit English. English. No. You, li- you keep saying trash and AF. I know that. I remember when these words used to mean something. Garbage. Yeah. Bloody Americans. Sorry. What do they know? Apart from how to ruin the internet. Right, do you have any other horrifically bad words? Nope. I think I'm all worded out. Cool. English is hard. If you think English is hard. Japanese is harder. Well, Japanese is hard still, but I don't know too much about Japanese. What I do know a bit about is Swedish, mm-hmm. because I've not long got back from a holiday in Sverdai, mm. and their language is fucking bonkers. Did you not like, uh, have to know something like um, "I am a cheese" or something? Or yeah, something? on um, like to, on a language learning app, it was "I eat turtles," <laughs> um, "I am a cheese," something like that. Um, when we went across there, the Word for beer mm. is ul. O with a umlaut, L. Ul. Ul, yeah. Um, <coughs> so you can get like, we went into an alcohol shop and they had like cans of it. And it was literally not like Carlsberg or Heineken, mm-hmm. it was literally a silver thing that went ul. They were so lazy, they couldn't be bothered to think of a brand name. It was ul, ul light. Beer, beer light. It gets to the point. Admittedly, yes, it does. Because sometimes I have to go, is a strongbow a lager or a cider? Just beer, mate. Fucking beer. I don't know what it is. Um, Ales, what is the difference? I don't know. Awesome. The whole, I think I discussed last time, the, the hu sound. Hu. So, spoon is mm. heard. Heard. Sked. Sked, yeah, it's spelled S-K-E-D. What the fuck? Heard. Oh, it's just, it's just... <laughs> I don't... Why can no one speak normal? Maybe we're the ones who speak weird. All the other countries are like, well, what, well this is probably why English is one of the hardest languages to speak, because we do speak... Dumb. Yeah, dumb dum I think we're verb last, whereas everywhere else is verb first, for a start. 
so we kind of differentiate on that and that's sentence structure is one of the biggest um barriers in language anyway because if you get the order of words wrong then you could mean something completely different anyway and what's some other great ones oh you know gothenburg yeah the place yeah it's not gothenburg oh it's yottaburi yottaburi to be fair that is better than gothenburg First time I s- so first time someone said it, I thought they were taking a piss because <laughs> they just don't like G's. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think it's just a yuh sound. Yutteberry. Um, I've already spoken to my Swedish friend about things like their verbs over there. Mm-hmm. It can have one word for about three different meanings. So, um, is re- uh, is drinking, drinks, and. Um, drink as in like I drink water is mm-hmm. all the same word that's sufficient it's lazy <laughs> and then um moose like the like yeah antlers yeah. that's anchor but mouse is moose um glass mm. is ice cream glass is glass so if you go there with an accent you're gonna fuck up their entire language wait glass is ice cream Glass. Glass or glass. Glass is ice cream. Glass is glass. So if you say it like an American, you're saying like a glass, yeah. like glass vatan, like glass yeah. of water. If you want some ice cream, you got to say glass. I'd always just be getting bottles of water. Yeah. So any dessert? Yes, I'd like some glass, please. Do you want this, you want your glass or? A, a, a water. Cool. Good for you. It's just. And what else? What other? Weird and wonderful things of that. Oh, in Sweden, in Swedish, it's spelled S V E R I G E, mm-hmm. and it's pronounced Sverai. It kind of makes sense. But it's Sverai. got a G. Sverai. They just don't, they don't like their G's. They really don't like their G's. <laughs> oh, it's just, and um, man is man, men is men. Men. But still, still spelled with an A. It's just got an umlaut on it. Okay. It's just uh-huh. such a weird language. Not as bad as the French. <laughs> you leave the French alone. Why? They deserve bad things. Everything's something of something. Like Tour de Eiffel is Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Tour de Eiffel. Hmm. That's true. The stupid people. Same with Spanish. <laughs> Cool. Now that you've pretty much offended every language, do you have any lasting Um Shita is tongue. So for me to remember that is I speak um, from my Shita. <laughs> and it actually looks like a bum. The kanji for it looks like a bum. It's what you would do for like the top part of um, thousand. So it's like this... Um, I don't know. To me it looks like... Uh, a traditional Japanese um, shrine kind of um, fence kind of thing um, and then at the bottom it's a square which means mouth Right. So a square in Japanese is just mouth that's the kanji for it or kuchi if you wanted to really the hiragana yeah the kuchi that's kuchi shita kuchi and sh- oh for fuck's yeah. sake <laughs> uh, it could end so badly I know right Kiss my shita. <laughs> um, oh, it's worse. That's cooch. My cooch, cooch. Do you know what the cooch is? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, and then obviously, I use this um, flashcard system. It's an app called Anki, which is actually really good. But they use this um, short-term memory and mnemonic technique that's meant to like really. Um, use your memory system to its full advantage so you show a couple of flashcards each day um, and you rate how easy it was for you to memorize so you've got like easy so you don't see it for like another six days you've got hard so you see it in like three days time if it was um really really hard you see it in like the next minute so you keep on remembering Mm. it until you get it um, and the one I will always remember is the one that you know about. It's the number nine because the mnemonic for it was she was bent over in doggy style taking my nine inches because apparently the kanji symbol for that 
looks like someone in doggy style. And I was like, okay, <laughs> moving on swiftly. But I'll I do never ever it. forget it. I will never forget it. Ever. <laughs> Scary. Good grief. Yeah, learning language is difficult. And I commend anyone who does it. It's dumb. You're dumb. A bit. <laughs> Uni told me that. God. <laughs> Shh. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. It doesn't define you. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Shh. You know nothing. Take tea bags and go. Da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> right, we better that, skedaddle that's, before that's they... Good. Yeah, before security guards come kick us out again. Yeah. You've been Holly Alloway. You've been Stephen Hook. I have, I have been me. I am and... Captain Cobb. Oh. Oh. Everyone has permission to call him Captain Cobb. Please don't edit this out. <laughs> I don't like your company. Hey, future Stephen. Go back to Japan. How's life? Fuck off to Japan. 